Thanks for clicking. Canada's inflation rate could remain painfully high for the remainder of 2022. This according to Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem in a recent interview with Evan Solomon of CTV News. The interview came following the announcement that Canada's inflation rate had hit 8.1%, with many starting to question whether or not Canada's inflation rate had peaked, including Evan Solomon. Inflation hit a 39-year high, 8.1%. Is this the peak? And if not, how high? Will you raise rates to combat it? And these are really the two main questions being asked by Canadians. When will price relief happen? And how high will the Bank of Canada have to go to make that happen? Oh, you don't want to know. So what I want to do today is go over the Bank of Canada governor's interview, look at when Governor Macklem thinks inflation might come down, and then take a look at some hints that were offered on the path of interest rate hikes. The end of the month is fast approaching and with the end of the month will be coming the release of July's real estate numbers from the local real estate boards, which I am anticipating will show a continued drop in our real estate prices. With that said, we'll obviously have an update out on those numbers on this channel. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. But for now, let's get into this interview. As mentioned, Evan Solomon got right down to business, asking Governor Macklem when we can expect inflation to calm down. Governor Macklem's response was less than reassuring. Look, unfortunately, inflation is probably going to start with a 7 for the rest of the year. Uh, it is going to be painfully high. Well, this was definitely not the answer that Canadians wanted to hear. It does show that Governor Macklem and the Bank of Canada are projecting prolonged inflation until at least the end of the year. As such, Governor Macklem went over the Bank of Canada's decision to raise rates by 100 basis points last week, which did indeed shock many observers. We raised our policy interest rate by 100 basis points. That got us into what we call the long run neutral range, you know, the middle, or 2.5%, the middle of uh, the 2 to 3% long run neutral range. By long run neutral, Governor Macklem means the point at which economists believe the policy rate isn't stimulative, but it's not restrictive. It doesn't encourage borrowing, but it doesn't discourage borrowing either. It doesn't help, but it doesn't hurt. It's moo. And this is true when the inflation rate is within the Bank of Canada's target range in that 2 to 3% target. However, a 2.5% policy rate with an 8.1% inflation rate, or even a 6.5% if you take out gas, is still a real negative rate. That is still a stimulative monetary policy. To give you an idea of how stimulative, the last time Canada had an 8% inflation rate was in 1983, and in 1983, the lowest prime rate available was 11%. Right now, our prime rates are 4.7%. So, in relative terms, our interest rates are still quite stimulative. They still encourage borrowing. They're still negative rates. With that said, Government Macklem, Government Macklem, Governor Macklem said that rates are going to continue to go up and then some. The best chance of getting that soft recovery is to front load the policy response. Uh, that does argue for increasing the policy rate again. Uh, you know, probably something around the top of that 2-3% to 3 range or, or a little bit over and, and doing that pretty quickly. We've talked about on this channel before the likelihood that the Bank of Canada will be going up to a 3.5% policy rate by the end of 2022 and this interview definitely appears to bear that out. What Governor Macklem said next was the really interesting part of the interview. Where interest rates ultimately have to go, well that is going to depend on the evolution of the economy and, and importantly the evolution of inflation. Getting inflation back to our 2% target is paramount. So yeah, rates could very well go up over and above that 3.5% policy rate mark. And I think that's a very important point to keep in mind going forward. As we've talked about on this channel multiple times, 3.5% is where economists are expecting the Bank of Canada to have the policy rate at by the end of 2022. Then 2023 happens. Life does not stop and start at your convenience, you're miserable. I, uh... If we're still at a 7% inflation rate when the December, when the January numbers come in, and our policy rate is only at a 3.5%, I think the Bank of Canada and Governor Macklem are going to have a very difficult time defending keeping the rate in relative terms so low. Still a stimulative interest rate, still a real negative interest rate. Gas prices are getting better and the supply chains are getting better and we're expected to see a slowdown in the inflation rate 
back down to that 7% range by this point in time next month. We know gasoline prices came down in July, so a month from now when StatsCan publishes July inflation, it probably will come down a bit. But However, some of the other effects that come with extra large inflation, with prolonged inflation, are starting to pop up as well. We're starting to see more and more strikes, more and more wage demands from workers throughout Canada. And we also we saw this in the 1970s and the 1980s. Prices have gone up, as the most recent inflation rate shows, by 8%, which means all of these workers who haven't gotten raises have seen their buying power drop by 8% probably more than 8%, but let's say 8% for argument's sake. As such, we're going to see more and more labor demands out there. We're going to see more labor unrest and demands for higher wages. And when and if those higher wages come to fruition, those are gonna bleed into prices as well. Lower gas prices and improving supply chains may have really done a number on the inflation rate had that have occurred five, six, seven months ago. However, by now, prices have already risen by that 8%. The damage is already done. Labor is going to want to see raises, and those raises are going to bleed into the inflation rate going forward. So the same causes of inflation that we have right now may not be the same causes of inflation we have in six months, which is why the central banks usually prioritize getting inflation under control when it starts to happen. Now you tell me because it does, it does tend to snowball. It does it tend to become a self-reinforcing loop. With that said, Governor Macklem's final message of the interview was that the bank is going to get control of the inflation rate. Inflation is gonna come down. Canadians can be assured uh, that inflation will come down. Time will definitely tell the extent to which the Bank of Canada and Governor Macklem are successful. We'll obviously have updates out on their actions to get inflation under control and whether or not it works. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. But for now, thanks so much for watching.